Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we picked up a Rack 20 yesterday and we brought the Mjolnir forward. Uh, it's actually, I put it in here, Just I just want to see how the thing runs. I'm just interested. It's a Pirate Rack 20. Um, I dropped it in. I mean, it's not the optimal load. It's got a Rack 20 and two ER medium lasers. Um, so I just want to see how it works. We got um, the... Uh, four double um, loads of rack 20 ammo in there for 48 rounds so I mean I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll try it out in the next in a second mission but uh, we're gonna pull off one mission here so if we have a look at the star map looks like Lana Conning the planet we were at before that we flipped has flipped back to Draconis Combine Control we are sitting here right now, Jade Falcon control 78%. There's no Karita control here, which is fine. So we're going to hop back over here for the second mission. But right now we're just going to take a mission on this planet. Um, see if we can solidify Jade Falcon's position here. Um, so we're going to do, I think we're going to do Insurgent Leader. Only because we want it, We want something that's going to be uh, relatively tough. It's a five skull. Um, it's against uh, pirates. So hopefully we can get some good salvage here we do have three uh five parts of a king crab now uh we got four atlas parts we got four what else do we have we got four something else what did i say last time it was four atlas and let's find out here real quick um whoops storage sorry thinking one thing doing another here here we go assault all right, so so we got six king crab parts. Okay, so we did have one from before, so all we need is two. Uh, and then we have, oh yeah, that's right, four Marauder two parts there. Plus I think we've got one more somewhere. Maybe I'm wrong. We got four Atlas parts too, I think, in here. At least I thought we did. Yeah, right there. And I thought there was one more. I'm just not seeing it. Yeah, right there. That's a Mad Cat too. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Um, Runner two, four H, and then we've got uh, B H here. Okay, so let's jump into that contract. See if we can complete one of those assault mechs. We don't have an assault mech yet. We're still working towards getting one. So let's do this. Got lots of sea bills. Well, Timberwolf, right, the foot. Ah, I forgot all about that. I think it's one turn. I think it's one turn. Where are you here? I remember we took foot damage last last uh, episode. Yeah, quick repair. Wow, it's zero. Never mind. Thank you. All right, let's do this. It's nice that we don't have to waste a day. All right, insurgent leader, negotiate, full salvage, accept. Main lance, let's deploy and get this done. All right. Oh, great. This is a good map for this. Ready to run, this is the best map for uh, killing the insurgent leader and getting out. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Every place is an ideal place for an ambush with you, buddy. Besides, if it was an ideal place for an ambush, why would you have Sumeri drop us off here? That's a question no one seems to be asking. On it. Why would you let her drop us off here? Oh man, the great thing I love about this map is that once you take this guy on, the escape point's right here. So if you get, if you find something that you like here, okay, let's get up here, I think. All right, what do we got? Really? Target 
Well, I was really hoping it would be a better mech, but whatever. Commander? We'll kill it. We'll kill it with extreme prejudice. Let's hope they got something better coming up, because, uh... It'd be a shame just to knock this guy off and then have nothing else better. Okay. Cyclops, there it is. Well, that's not good. Corsair. Ooh. Ready for orders. On the move. Firing all ways. We gotta get in this valley. Okay. My damage. Confirm. Kerberos, we got parts for that. Mauler, we don't have. Standing by. Um, this route. This should be good. Head hit. Health, 9 out of 10. Yes, Commander. We gotta get out of their sight range here. We should be able to kill this guy, though. Locking in, always. We got racks coming up, anyway. Okay, Griff, let's get rid of their eyes. Can you hear them spinning up? I can. Ooh, still alive. Those things can take a pounding, man. Oh. They got a lance back here too, eh? Commander. So we're gonna move up and we're gonna kill this guy and then we're gonna arrange the other guys to death. Yeah, we gotta make sure we kill him. Firing. Tango down. So there's our escape point. So we're going to focus fire the Cyclops. Commander? I just don't think they can see us right now. I'm we move slow enough. Twenty-five, huh? Wow. Attack failed. Yeah, well they are at extreme distance too, right? So I copy. Acknowledged. Critical hit, Commander. 
Sure. We're not staying around that long. Not staying around that long. These guys are still moving up too, right? Okay, they can see us. That's not good. I'm under heavy fire. Yes, Commander. Everything up, firing. Okay, nice, we can go now. Back destroyed. We can go now. Well, I would love to be able to stay, but we're already starting to take a lot of damage. We got a lot of irreplaceable components in our mechs too, so I do not want to risk them. We're going to keep backing out of here. Uh, yep. And fire. Ooh, three hits. Nice. Scored a critical hit. What's up, boss? Moving to position. And fire. Firing full confidence. Whoa, two hits. Nice. Okay, we're sprinting out of here now. Warning. Damage critical. Yep, got a sprint. Warning. Armor breached. Internal Wait for damage. On it. Uh I think the thermobolt is like an AoE. Ah. I think I hit something good. Commander. Firing a full salvo. Keep hitting them. Well, they're in range now. This will still have me in range to get out next turn. See if we can claim this guy. We got one rack up firing. Ooh, something was hit. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Warning. Damage critical. Reading you. Location confirmed.
still not enough. Reporting critical hit. Receiving you. Coordinates received. Alright, let's hope we get some good hits. God, that guy's taking a punishment. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Ooh. Griff can't get out? Are you serious? At full sprint? Looks like we're taking another turn of punishment. All right, hammer him. Finally. My God, that guy took a lot of damage. Marauder. Yeah, I think we've got a better chance of taking the ma Mauler down than the Kerberos. Yeah, way better chance to hit. Receiving you. Alright, firing. Ooh, all we have to do is hit a CT. got 93. We hit with a Thunderbolt great if not. Well, no. Nope. Ooh. That's a hit. Where's all his armor? Oh right, he doesn't have any. Ah, I was hoping we would see that guy one more time. He just vanished. Oh, well. <laughs> We're leaving. Let's take a pot shot. You never know. You get lucky, sure. On it. <laughs> That's a kill. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, that was totally worth it. Let's get out of here before we push our luck too far. <laughs> he just took his head off. <laughs> I saw the 45, the orange 45, and I thought, oh, is that a head hit? And sure enough, it was. All right, we took some life support damage on the night gear. And I don't think we lost anything on the, uh, well, uh, patchwork materials, upper leg. So, yeah, we lost a little bit, but overall, I think we did pretty well compared to what we were up against. 
the fact that they can see us for long distance was, uh, yeah, that was a little bit uh, disconcerting. Now we could take the Kerberos parts. I think we probably do that. Since there's only one Cyclops part. We're just going to go that route. We got. I think we've already got a BFG 9000. Yeah. Yeah, we got. We we need to get into the uh, assault mech range now. Uh, sensor tracker would be nice. Upper recoil would be nice. Oh god. Let's just go this route though. We'll figure stuff out as we go along. One, two, three, four, five. Six. We got a Kerberos. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe that. Okay, that is so ridiculous. It is so we just took the pot shot at the end, took his head off, and now we have a <laughs> we have a Kerberos. <laughs> I can't believe that. Yeah, we took a lot of sea bills and damage. Orion's gonna be out for what, twenty something days? 20 days. Let's bring the meal near up. Wow. That's, uh... Let's have a look at the thing, man. The OMG, man. Look at this thing. Big pirate skull on the, on the head. It's crazy. Nothing. Nothing. So it's got a cooling jacket in the arm. So the BFG 9000 is like... It's integral to the mech, I guess. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. If we max out the armor. This thing is nuts. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna fix this guy up. Oh my god. Okay, we're jumping planets. Oh my god. I still can't believe that. Alright, let's jump planets. Well, we know what we're doing up next episode. Alright, let's hop over here. So we've got this to 100% now. Uh, yeah, let's just travel over here. Excellent. I've got the financial report. Wow. I'm just expecting something horrible to happen this next mission though. To balance that out. Okay, we're gonna try out this pirate rack twenty. Not that we need it now that we have a rail gun, but whatever. Let's give it a whirl. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. See if we got anything in the store here. Probably not. Uh. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be anything. Nothing I want anyway. Leader chaff, rack 20 ammo double. We've got lots of rack 20 ammo already. All right, well, um, so look at the contracts. I don't want to take anything too tough. We might just go to hot landing. Um, 
Let's go back and forth here. Don't think our main lance has got anything that needs to be leveled up here. Standing by. Yes, come in. Yeah, no, we're good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, local government. I don't want to go something too hard in case the Rack 20 is just a big flop. Let's just take Hot Landing. And let's just go full C-bills. We're going to need it for the next financial report, so let's just accept this. Plus, we're going to need it for sure for the max to fix. Night gear needs to be repaired. Right. So let's do that first here. Um, I guess we don't necessarily need to run it in the primary lance. This shouldn't take any days to repair, though. Let's just repair this guy here. Yeah, it doesn't take any days. Okay. Full CBL mission here. Just so we can test out this Rack 20, see if it's a viable option. It is a pirate Rack 20, so it's like, I don't even know. Don't even know if I want to keep it or not, but let's find out. So this guy has got the Nova CWS. I didn't have much in order to help out the recoil. I had a uh, fire control system AC. I didn't have any arm mounts or anything to put in this thing. We got a defense gyro just to give it a bit of defense. Endo and ferro just to, because we needed the weight. Regular double heat sink kit. A couple of ER medium lasers. Four tons of rack, uh, sorry, four slots of double rack ammo. And the, and the rack with case on both sides. So split the ammo up exchanger for heat management and that's it doesn't have much so we'll just deploy it and see how it works out all right here we go we're just going to go wreck these guys all right keep your eyes open and watch your sensors let's bring it in here so this Rack 20, I don't know, I mean, we'll see how it works out. Aye, aye. To see if we keep it or not. Um, so I'm looking at a couple things. One, damage potential, just for raw output of damage. I'm going to go max on it just to see how, how it works. Because if it works really well, we can get I can get, I can get a fair amount of recoil compensation on it. With Griff piloting, he's got minus two recoil. So this Mjolnir is actually not that bad in speed. I thought it was going to be really slow. I've only got like a 250 core in it, so it's not very big. It's got like 4.8 speed. It's a good thing there's a road here. Alright, what do we got here? Locust, man, really? Locust, Raven, Hunchback. Yeah, I expected a little bit of... Very little resistance. Yeah, firing. That hit something good. All right, Griff. Time for the weapons test here. I don't know if we can hit him from there, though. So it says twenty times fifteen. Um, let's just get to close in range. We're going to move in. I want to see, just want to see how we're going to work, how it's going to work here. Yeah, just get the locust. Copy that. What's this guy? Mortis. Copy that. They're going to be finding pieces him in the trees and the mountains everywhere for the next five years. Um, yep, firing.
I think this Rack 20 is going to redefine Shredder Autocannon. I mean, the Orion's nice. I just wonder where this Pirate Rack 20 will fit into the queue. I hope it doesn't explode, though. That's the thing I'm really worried about. Okay, he's moving into kill range. We're going to do it. We're going to wind this sucker up. So, I guess the rack, Standing by. this particular rack, um, fire rather than firing like a slug round, it fires like, um, like the LBX does. All right, one hit. Scored a critical hit. All right, what are you doing, guys? These guys are probably wondering where the hell we are. Ready for orders. Position confirmed. See if we can get rid of this TPM carrier. Giving him everything I've got. Yep. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Okay, well we know what uh I've no I've no idea what's in range and what isn't. Should have read the description a little better, I think. What's this guy? Zephyr or Zukov? Okay, so 63% chance to hit. 16 damage times 3. Twenty times five. All right, well, let's wind it up, see what it does. If we're going to do it, let's Warlord the hell out of it, too. Now, can we switch? There isn't a switching firing modes. All right, well, let's see what it does. Yeah. Ready for orders. I'm not impressed with it. Well, I guess we gotta move in. On my way, double time. Okay, it's firing this guy. Um no, we're gonna go with the uh Artemis ammo, just so we have better chances to hit. Thunderbolt missed. Target's taking a critical hit. Yeah, I mean, that's spread the damage everywhere. Commander? Can we kill this guy, please? Thank you. Frag the vehicle. You sure did. Let's get in the trees. Order. Just do that. Firing. Nice. Target eliminated. 
Roger that. What's up, boss? Okay, Zukov firing. Roger that. Alright, something else back there. Um. Six recoil, five multiplier. Make some punk. <laughs> some punk. Well, if we're going to do it, let's hammer him. Well, that shreds at close range. Now, that was a medium mech, so, and he had marsh partial armor. This guy's still. Uh, uh, okay. Guy's brave as fuck. I'll give it to him. He's brave as fuck. Roger that. Receiving you. Um. Nah, let's go to Artemis. Better chance to hit. Oof. Target neutralized. Yeah, thanks for that. The hell are you shooting at? Okay, interested to see how far the rack fires. So let's move into here. It does fire that far. Let's, re let's reduce the recoil. It hasn't jammed yet. I thought for sure it would have because I have like no recoil compensation on this thing. I got minus one for the fire control system. I think Griff's got minus two. The recoil on a six, so it would have been three recoil and then another six. Would have been nine recoil. I don't know. I'm surprised that I uh, was able to do that. You're here, you're there, you're everywhere. Shoot him. Commander. Acknowledged. Shoot him. All weapons are good. Nice, let's get out of here. Reporting vehicle to Okay, so we need to test that out on a, on a bigger uh, mission. Okay, I almost want to see if we can actually load that on the Kerberos. Railgun and a pirate rack 20. Sounds like a good combo to me. Uh, okay, so I mean, I guess it was an okay test. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at the rack 20 a bit more just to really double like check what uh, the stats are on this thing. Like recoil of six, five misfire multiplier, which is recoil. So we must have got very, very lucky. Exposed ammo feed can explode for 100 damage. Let's see if it takes a crit. Huh. Don't know if we just got lucky with it or what happened. Well, we'll keep playing around with it and see how it works. I want to keep it in a mech that I don't really care too much about. MML7, no big deal. Okay. Yeah, we didn't take the planet, but that's fine. I didn't think we would. Not with that mission anyway. Alright guys, so we're going to leave it there. So next episode when we come back, we are going to attempt to get this Kerberos up and running. Figure out how we're going to load it out. We're going to need a lot of C-bills. Um... And I think I can sell a bunch of junk. Because um, we got a ton of stuff that I haven't sold yet. We've been taking ton of, tons of missions in the Innisfere. We got tons of parts that I can just get rid of. Um, and get enough C-bills to drop a Clan XL engine in this thing. And just see how we can outfit it. I'm interested to see what the railgun is going to do. I mean, it has a had a pirate, pirate heavy PPC in each arm. Maybe we trade those out for Clan ER PPCs or something. I don't know. 
we'll figure it out. All right. So when we come back next episode, we'll we'll give that a shot. Okay. All right. So we're gonna leave the episode there. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, if you got any comments or suggestions about the Kerberos or the Rack 20, what we can do with it, uh, where it can go. I don't want to change the Orion loadout. I think it's actually pretty good. Uh, I think what I want to do is maybe start pulling that medium lance out of play because now we have the Kerberos. So that can go in the main lance. Um, it will probably end up being the... It will replace the... Um, Night Gear, which will probably go in the second lance along with the Exterminator and a few other mechs. Uh, if we can get heavy, I think we got a, I think we have a catapult and we got the Mule near, so we can run two heavy lances. I think I like to start just taking all five skull missions, four and a half, five skull missions. So it'd be nice if we can get two lances actually doing that. All right, okay, so until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>